Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit about this. So this is um, a fume evacuation unit for a CO2 laser. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm setting up one of my CO2 lasers out in the garage because one of the problems I have is, especially down here in my basement workshop, um, especially de depending upon some of the materials I cut, it gets rather noxious in odor. Uh, so uh, as I've covered out in another episode, I've got... Um, a different fume extraction system, a very heavy duty one. Out in the garage I don't need something as robust so I'm going back to this guy or going to use this guy. I haven't really used these because I've had the other ones and you can look in, on the laser playlist and see those so I just want to talk about it in case you have one. Um, maybe you want to follow the same route because I'll put these parts up on Thingiverse. So one of the things I did is I printed this nozzle out in uh, TPU. So it's flexible, works really nice, and the nice part is is what happens is this will fit over this this adapter and or I shouldn't say really adapter, but this manifold which exhausts the uh, air out of the out of the laser unit. Now one of the things since this is flexible to connect a hose around this um, sorry I'm shaking the camera a little bit is going to be difficult because it's flexible so what I did is I printed out of ABS a ring that go in there and then what I'll do is I have this three inch uh, marine uh, ventilation hose which will then go over top of this and then what I'll do is I'll just simply use uh, zip strips. Now, one of the things you may, may be saying is, well, why don't you just use a 4-inch out of here? And you can use it like a dryer vent hose. But the, uh, the piece is for me to evacuate this. This is an easier setup uh, to do to get under my garage door. And I'm going to have a thing kind of ventilating it out underneath there. So this was an easier way to go. And I had this tubing, and it was far more pardon the pun, flexible than going the four inch route. Also, the thing is, is I think uh, having a bit of the draw and compression here may help with some of the flow. I don't know yet, but I thought this was a, you know, workable idea for this because what I'm going to have to do is in the garage kind of set it up, remove it, set it up, remove it. It's going to be in a third car bay. And so it's not going to have to be totally taken down, but to get it down underneath the door, I'll be able to stretch this hose out, get this underneath the door, pull it back in, put it away, and so it should be pretty easy. So anyways, wanted to share this with you guys. Um, you know, maybe it'll spark an idea with you, etc. I'll have links to this. Uh, very economical um, hose. Got it off of Amazon. Again, I'll have these pieces out on um, Thingiverse, so if you want to print them. And again, with the, the printed uh, ABS piece, I'm shaking the camera again, sorry. I can put the, the zip strip around here, and it'll have a real positive fit. So... Anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you have a CO2 laser and you're looking at different alternatives to vent it, this could possibly be one. And if it is, hey, give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or any other ideas. I'm always open. Uh, don't forget, Swag Shop will be up there. It's getting around Christmas time. Get yourself a loved one something uh, nice. And hey, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.